of the highlights of a true democracy is the all-inclusive and open-door policy geared towards community development. In preparation for the 2022 budget proposal, aimed at sustaining development, the leadership of the Shudi Solo local government area invited stakeholders and factions to collate their inputs. The forum was witnessed by council officials, management team, religious leaders, and stakeholders. Addressing the audience, the council chairman, Kende Almaruf Oloyede, said the forum aims at carrying residents along on the activities of the local government and seeking their inputs on how to uplift the image of the council. Human resources are the best assets among all assets. Thereby, it gives me a great pleasure and honor to be here today at the year 2022 stakeholders meeting. This is the first major stakeholders meeting since adoption of office as the executive chairman of this state global government. We are here to align our purpose, goals, and the scope alignment, the legal state development plan, and the theme program of Mr. Gordon. Let me start by extending a very warm welcome to you all. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my sincere hope that with the diversity of views and opinions, we will be able to respond and come up with strategies on how to coordinate efforts among stakeholders. A budget stakeholder meeting like we all know is a strategic event aimed at introducing to stakeholders the plans, the programs, and budgets intended to be executed by this administration. Hence, the government's usability and defining its objectives. This meeting is a, is a way of keeping social residents informed while at the same time it will help them trust and empower them to keep up with projects. The essence of this meeting is also to ensure synergy between the local government and stakeholders as a whole. In an interactive session, representatives from the seven political wards outlined projects that require immediate attention in their respective wards, while heads of various factions also made contributions on how to move the LGA forward. In response to the contributions of the stakeholders, the council chairman sought the cooperation to make the project a reality through prompt tax payments, adding that road infrastructure is topmost on his agenda at the moment. He also highlighted a few achievements after two months in office. Stakeholders promised to synergize with the leadership as they expressed confidence that their demands will be met as long as they play their roles. They also commended the leadership for the good work. Actually, I'm very, very confident in our new chairman. Very, 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 very competent man. And uh, the, the man is ready 100% to do a lot of infrastructure facilities and uh, amenities in, in Osho, the local government. We have seen a lot of, we have on, under, under many uh, months now that, that this man is doing, we have, seen a lo we have seen a lot, a lot of development, a lot of development, both infrastructure and education and everything. I have seen a lot that this man has done. He's listening chairman. It's less than uh, nine weeks in uh, government now. He's doing a lot of projects going on. I have confidence in him that he will do more than the one I've done. I have 100% assurance. What I think and I believe should be taken care of is taking the youth out of poverty. We believe if youth are being taken care of, there's no way most of the youth will be involved in any vices. Not a kind of mushroom kind of empowerment. You empower the youth without giving them a kind of backup. That is some of the hiccups. But I believe with his own uh, kind of idea and his uh, enthusiasm, he should be able to at least go on and empower youth productively and follow it up. 
With this stakeholders meeting, the first stage of the 2022 budget preparation is complete. Thank you.